Hi, uh, Craig Shoemaker, First Track Snowplows. Uh, we're going to be putting on our entry level product. I guess you'd call it, say it is. It's our worm gear lift, not a winch lift, it's a worm gear lift. And um, which is a little bit different setting. Uh, a worm gear is more industrial than a winch. A winch isn't made for really, what I would say, anyways, repetitive use. Um, I'm going to actually just go through the step by step operations of putting it on a vehicle. This, the vehicle is already outfitted with a mount kit and uh, the wiring. So we're just going to go step by step, putting the plow on the vehicle. I'll raise it, I'll reposition the wheels, angle it left and right, and then I'll go through the procedures of taking the plow off the vehicle just to help you know, better understand the product and the ease of use. So basically we have it in front of the vehicle. Um, the easiest thing to do is to line the, the, the framework with the crossbar. Even if it's pointed up on a 45 like that, that's fine. Grab a hold of the front frame, rotate it up, and just wiggle it on. It, uh, it simply slides on. Now the clips. The clips are a T configuration. The form actually goes underneath the crossbar and then drops on the T and just latches on. Now if you have a problem taking it on and off, all you have to do is shove back on the front frame. What that does is lift the channel up closer to the mount kit but the clip actually just slides off again. Now that's done purposely to make sure the clip doesn't come off easily when you're actually using the vehicle, when you're using the plow. So I'll put the second clip on. Plug the plow in. Take the control. Plug it into the top of the box. Now typically this cable, um, I remove it each time, it just makes it that much easier. So if you line it up under your wiper, around your mirror, and in through the window. And that keeps it sort of in place when you're plowing. After you're done plowing, obviously take it off the vehicle again, and that way it's, it's removed from the vehicle. The only thing left, left on the vehicle is your power cord. So we'll go through the basic operation. So up, if you lift your the plow up a little bit, we can uh, reposition the wheels then. Pull out, locate it to the upper hole. Likewise on the other side. And your plow is ready to use in, that, in a straight position. So again, this would be up over your hood. Drop the plow down and you're ready to, uh, to push snow straight. So if you want to angle the plow, raise the plow a little bit, come out of your vehicle, take your one pin, drop it in the saddle, collapse the bar, reposition the second pin. Angled, back in the vehicle, you're pushing snow. Bring it to the straight position again, reposition this one, And that's the concept. That pin just rides along in the saddle. So if I was angling the other way, I would drop that pin in that saddle, pull the blade, drop this pin in to lock the blade into, the, into position. Then the straight position, travels, lots of ground clearance on this model. Um, now it does, it is determined on the, the vehicle itself. This is a 3500 series, so it is a little bit higher than the, obviously the Jeep Cherokees or the um, Liberties, that style of unit um, or a vehicle. So now we're going to go through the step by step to take it off the vehicle. So if you raise the plow, reposition the wheels again to the lowest position. Drop the blade onto the wheels. When you're lowering it, make sure that you lower it far enough that the strap is loose. That way you won't have that issue that the front frame can be floating when you wanted to take those clips off. Plug your control. Plug the plow. Move the clips. Away. 
It's as easy as that. It's, uh, it's a very simple concept. As soon as you have it lined up with the vehicle, then you just need the front flame on an angle. With your one foot on the cutting edge, you can balance it fairly easy. Grab the front frame, and get it up, slide it on the vehicle. And again, taking it off. I would suggest that so just let the front flame fall. Don't try to catch it. It won't get pinched. Um, and hands, maybe at the spring width, because on the other models, on the hydraulic, there is a pinch point when the cylinder head comes into against the front frame. Well, that's the basic uh, one, two, three of uh, attaching it, angling it left and right, and taking it off. Um, again, Frank Shoemaker, first tractional file.